Well, I, th I think the, the main difference from our end was the fact that we were able to spend more time putting the songs together. When we did Strange Cousins, I think we were just excited that we could put a record out on our own label and have our own team in place and actually get the record out to uh, not only the United States, but to Europe and Australia. And so we were just excited. So we very quickly uh, went in the jam room and put some songs together and then ran out to Baltimore and recorded them with Jay. And it was a lot of fun. And I think we made a great record. On this record, we spent a little more time putting the songs together and we were, I think, a little more selective. I know that we really wanted to make something that was kind of an upbeat record, um, a real rockin' kind of a record, and I. I think we were successful with that. The things that I was thinking about most on, on this record was uh, this idea of shuffle. And the, 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 the shuffle is, is although a, a very uh, simplistic idea, actually uh, being able to, to execute the shuffle with uh, sincerity and with authority really takes a whole lifetime. And so that's something that I've been working on. And so there's a few examples of shuffle on this record. The concept of brushes was, was something that was a little intimidating for me. When I think of the very uh, best brush players, I think about guys like uh, Philly Joe Jones and Elvin Jones and Max Roach and Roy Haynes. And these are guys that really took that voice and um, they, they applied it to their instrument in a very personal way. I just sort of took the bull by the horns and tried to make some sense of it. In the very early days, it was more just about getting the riffs together and coming up with an arrangement, and then Neil would put vocals on top of that. Say, past 10 years, I, I think we hear a lot more vocals from the very inception of the concept, whatever that might be. And so those ideas, for me, really make an impression on, on how I hear that particular passage and how I play it. So although the actual lyrics themselves might change, um, the delivery is, is often the same, and the phrasing is often the same, and, and that's really what I'm thinking about when I'm uh, putting together drum ideas for the songs.